So if you've recently learned tools like NNN or make.com, you might be wondering, okay, what comes next? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down four ways that you can actually use artificial intelligence in your life. Now, you probably see AI and automation absolutely everywhere. What is an AI companion? Apple intelligence. A new AI. 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 And here's why AI automation matters. Because the moment you start building out systems that actually work without you, you decouple your time from your income and that is considered leverage. And that kind of leverage can only used to be available to a small fraction of the population or the elite, people that had capital, influence, or armies of workers. But now anyone with a bit of time and knowledge can build it. Now, one of the best ways to capitalize on this wave, which is option number one, is to sell AI automation services to other people. Now, the thing is, is every business owner sees it coming, and they also know that they need AI automation. Right now, about 78% of global companies are already using AI in their daily operations, and the industry is projected to grow over 30% every single year for the next decade. That's roughly a 10x expansion. Now, the fastest way to get traction is probably on the platform Upwork.com. You can sign up today and there's literally thousands of people that are looking for help literally right now that you can go ahead and reach out to. What I'd recommend doing though is sending out 10 proposals every single day. It's a lot. It might feel a bit overwhelming, but then in the day, marketing and sales, it's all numbers game. The more you send out, the more your likelihood is of succeeding. And when I started my journey on Upwork, work many years ago, I literally had no freaking clue what I was doing. But within a couple weeks after feeling super anxious getting started, I ended up closing my first couple deals that scaled into around $40,000 earned within the probably like nine months I was, you know, on Upwork and then an additional $40,000 from the same clients years later. And keep in mind, I was just working like three hours a day and building my agency on the side while doing Upworks as well. And the cool thing as well is that in my community, I've seen dozens of people repeat the same process with tremendous results as well. Now, besides selling automation services to other people, you can also capitalize big time on this movement by, of course, implementing it into your own business. And here's why this, to me, is such a big opportunity, because there's so many archaic businesses run by people who either they just don't care about AI, they don't get it, or they're about to retire soon and they just don't want to go through the trouble of learning it. And with the right systems in place, you can step into an industry and become one of the leading players in a matter of only just a couple months. So with my previous company, it was in the wedding space and I used AI automation to help scale from $20,000 a month up to $140,000 in just you know, like literally just a couple months. We automated like 80% of all of the work we were doing manually. We went from like one of the smallest players in the industry to one of the top performers across all of Canada. And here's how you'd go about automating your business. Every company has what I'd like to define as a customer life cycle, which are all the touch points where people actually interact with your business. Now you can start mapping out every single one of these stages and spot at every stage what you're doing manually and then begin to automate the process. So for example, let's take like a very simple sales funnel. Visitors are going to visit your site. They're going to fill out a form and your goal is to get them on a call immediately because chances are that's where you're going to close a deal is on the sales call, right? So instead of, you know, chasing leads down, you can automatically reach out to these people by calling them automatically, sending off automated text messages, emails, or even proposals. And then after that initial sales call, you can automate everything else as well, such as invoices, contracts, meetings, communication, all of it. And the cool thing is, is once you understand how to automate one stage, you can apply the same logic to literally every single stage in the customer lifecycle journey. So from marketing to sales to fulfillment, you can automate it all. You can even take it a step further and go into recruitment, analytics. You could go into bookkeeping and all of those savings that you're going to accumulate compound really fast. It's kind of like duplicating yourself many times over. And I think for myself, like when I was finished doing it, I automated the equivalent of like 30 full-time employees. It was absolutely wild. And this kind of leverage just simply was not possible like before the internet 25 years ago. And now it's available to anyone who knows how to build out these systems and wants to spend the time doing it. Now you can also capitalize on AI automation working at your job as well. You're not going to lose your job to AI. You're going to lose your job to somebody who uses AI. Your company is not going to go out of business because of AI. Your company is going to go out of business because another company used AI. There's no question about that. 
And when you use automation as a force multiplier, nobody's gonna be able to compete with your output because you are literally duplicating your efforts, maybe even 5Xing the amount of work that you're doing. You're obviously gonna become very indispensable to your business. You can free up your time, you can take it off. Maybe you focus on higher leverage activities at your job. And of course, everyone's gonna be looking at you thinking, how the hell are you doing what you're doing, right? You're just gonna have insane efficiency. And beyond all that, learning these tools can open up so many incredible opportunities for you. I literally just had somebody very recently while preparing for this video, reach out to me and they said, hey, I watch your YouTube videos, I joined your school community, and because of everything that I learned, I was able to land a new role at my company as an AI innovation specialist. And here is why this all matters, because a recent study found that only 2% of workers say most of their work is done with AI, while 63% say they don't use AI much or at all. And that gap between people using it and not using it is opportunity. Now the process of automating a job is very similar to the process of automating really anything, like a business for example. You'll wanna start with the lowest hanging fruit first, so you can look for tools that can finish your work faster. And I think you'd be pretty surprised by what you'd be able to uncover in a quick chat GPT search for ways to optimize your time. Next, what you'll wanna do is list down all of the tasks that you're currently repeating over and over again, and then automate them one by one. So things like, for example, reporting or document generation or organizing files with OCR, for example, they're pretty easy wins. But whatever you're doing at work, obviously, it's going to be hyper personalized to your particular job. But I'm sure there's a lot of things you're doing more than once. And those are the exact type of things that you could probably go ahead and automate. Now, you can even go to my YouTube channel. Every single one of my builds has free blueprints. You can take those and use those at your existing company. What that will allow you to do is automate things from marketing to sales to fulfillment to recruitment to bookkeeping all of it and the last thing that I want to mention here is that you can also use AI automation to go into the education space so there's a lot of ways to do this but let me just give you one you can build a presence online like on a platform like YouTube or LinkedIn or whatever the case may be and share what you've learned and turn that into consulting opportunities or even a community like school now it took me about 12 months or so to go from zero to 100,000 subscribers online which later grew into a school community of over 500 members and of course constant requests for coaching and consulting now just a heads up though this path requires a lot of patience because for the first few months I was like literally shouting into the void and had no traction no clients and there was no money that I was earning doing YouTube so you've got to be okay with that delay but for most people when they go down this path you either start as a freelancer or as a business owner and the reason I say that is because the best content to talk about online comes from real world experience of things that you've done for yourself or for other people so you can take those experiences and then teach that online and just remember, the most important thing is consistency, not perfection. Because if you're anything like me, your first few videos, they're gonna be far from perfect. Like my first few videos, you can go back, watch them, they absolutely sucked. And I think the irony of perfection is that it only comes from failing every single way imaginable and then learning from those mistakes. What I'd recommend is just keep publishing consistently and improve 1% every single time and you're eventually gonna gain momentum. Now, if your goal is to create a community, I would focus on gaining your first 102 fans before launching that community. And here's why, because if you start doing too many things at the same time, it's gonna be hard to juggle all of the responsibilities that you have. And when you get to the point where you want to launch that community, I would recommend also not overbuilding it because chances are you're gonna be building something that people just probably don't even want or it just doesn't resonate with people. And I'm saying that because I made that mistake myself. I built way too much at the beginning, way too soon, and ended up having to start everything from scratch again because what I built is not what people wanted, so I had to go back to the drawing board. What I'd recommend is just launching absolutely bare bones, dripping out content, like for example, once every single day, collecting feedback, and then adapting your approach to what people are actually telling you that they want. And if you go down this path too, it's pretty cool because you can open up multiple revenue streams such as lead generation for your AI automation agency. You can get into consulting, affiliate income, digital products, or even ad revenue. So there's a lot of different opportunities if you pursue a presence online. So thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you found value in this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you did because it tells me that I'm doing a good job. Really appreciate your time. Also take a look at my school community. There's three outcomes in there. First of all, it's to learn these tools that you can apply to your life to either save time or earn more money. The second um, kind of outcome in there is to help people find, close, and fulfill 
their first couple AI automation clients and then rinse and repeat that, grow into an AI automation agency, all that kind of stuff. And then the third outcome is for those of you who have an existing business. Now, I wanna give you the exact blueprints that I use to automate up to 80% of my business and then scale that to seven figures. And hopefully, you know, in the process of copying those blueprints, you can save a whole bunch of time yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.